Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Aigbona and this is David Aigbona Ministries. Today we are having our prayer service and we are going to be praying with the theme peace in times of turbulence. We can say peace in troubled times. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 6 verse 4 and there was a red horse and the one riding on the red horse was given power to take peace from the earth and that men may unalive each other. I use that term because of social media. This is directly on social media and so if I use the other terms, it affects the um, spread of this video. So read Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. So the one with the great sword was given power to take peace from the earth, and that men may unalive each other. Take note, unalive is not the word in the Bible. You should know what that word is. So there, there is one who has been given power. We have entered that stage right now. We have entered it. We've passed the white horse. The white horse is still present, but the white horse has come. Now is the red horse that has come. Peace taken from the earth. But as a believer, what happens around us does not need to happen inside of us. As a believer, we are in this world, but not of this world. So the stuff in the world is not the same stuff in us. So what is happening around the world is not supposed to happen inside us. Why? John chapter 16 verse 33 Jesus says in John chapter 16 verse 33 the last verse of chapter 16 of the book of John these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So what do you do? You have peace in him. You go into him. You dwell in him. You abide in him. And his word abides in you. When that happens, your case will be different. People around may be screaming for the storm. But you will be sleeping in peace. Peter was walking on the stormy sea when his eyes was on Jesus Christ. When he took his eyes off Jesus Christ and looked at the storm going on around him, he became subject to the storm and began to sink. As long as his focus was on Christ Jesus, he was not subject to the effect of the storm going on around us. We are going to be praying today. We are going to be asking God for that peace in him, that peace in his word. We are going to be asking God to help us abide in him. Help us abide in him. Because the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. When you run into a tower in a time of danger, you are safe. So running into the name of the Lord, abiding in Christ, Jesus, will keep you safe and at peace, despite what is going on around the world. Let us thank God for this time of prayer. Open your mouth and speak to him. Give him thanks for this time of prayer. Say, Lord, I thank you that I am participating in this service. I thank you that I am privileged to pray at this time. Give him praise and give him thanks. Father, we thank you for this service. We thank you for this day. Thank you, Heavenly Father, 
for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you for what you have done in our lives and thank you for what you are going to do in our lives. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. We receive that scripture and appropriate it by faith. We have perfect peace because our mind is stayed on you. Father, we pray. Glorify your name this day. We thank you for our going out and our coming in. We thank you for what you have done for us. You have broken the gates of brass and turned the bars, cut the bars of iron in sunder. You have set the prisoners free. You have set us free from the destructions that held us bound. You have set us free from the frustrations and temptations that we have been struggling with. We thank you, Lord God, for your power at work in this ministry. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to talk to God right now, thank him for specific things in your life, specific events taking place in your life, specific things unique to you. Just talk to the Lord right now. Thanksgiving, pure thanksgiving, giving him thanks for what he is doing. Thank him. Oh Lord, thank you for this ministry. Thank you, Heavenly Father for the outreaches, the revival meetings. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus for my family. Thank you for our businesses. Thank you for careers and the academics. Lord, thank you, Heavenly Father, for the relationships you've given to us. Thank you, Lord, for this service, oh God. Thank you for the people that are being blessed and will be blessed. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for your presence in our midst. We give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. I want you right now to set your heart if there is any unforgiveness and bitterness. Let it go from your heart right now. Let go of every unforgiveness and bitterness. This is a time to be free from bitterness, unforgiveness, malice. If there's anyone who has hurt you, forgive the person right now. You are forgiving that person not because the person apologized to you, not because the person has behaved in a manner that you deem worthy of your forgiveness, but because it is your nature as a believer to let go of offenses. I want you to do that right now. If there is bitterness and malice, ask the Lord to cleanse you and purge you clean of all that defiles. The Bible says bitterness defiles. Ask God to purge you clean. To cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Cleanse you of bitterness and unforgiveness. Do that right now. Talk to God. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is willing. He wants to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Now He wants to cleanse you completely from all unrighteousness. Will you let Him do that? Will you let him cleanse you of, from all unrighteousness? Pray right now. Talk to the Lord right now. Speak to him. Speak to him. Speak to him. Father, we thank you. Glory to your holy name. Lord, have mercy. I want you to confess your sins unto him. Confess your sins unto him. What you have thought, what you have said, what you have done. Ask him for mercy. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You 
are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, 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 Alpha. Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. We are saying, faithful are you, God. Faithful are you, God. Faithful are you, God. You are so faithful. Faithful are you, God. Faithful are you, God. Faithful are you, God, you are so faithful. Holy are you, God, holy are you, God, holy are you, God, you are so holy. Holy are you, God. Holy are you, God. Holy are you, God. You are so holy. Father, I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for healing the sick. Thank you, Lord God, for the healings that have taken place and are taking place. Thank you, Lord God, for the miracles. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the blind see, the deaf here, the lame are walking now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the breakthroughs that you have released to these ones. Thank you. You are faithful in all generations. You are faithful. You will never go against your nature. You will, you will never change. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. May your presence be manifest everywhere this service is participated in. I pray, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to pray this prayer point. You are going to ask God that his word... will abide in your heart. Let's go to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. We're going to take a few prayer points today. I want you to know where you are, healing is taking place. Just receive your healing. I may not mention your ailment, but your healing is taking place. Romans chapter 10, verse 15 says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good, glad tidings of good things. There is a gospel of peace. There is a gospel of peace, and that is the gospel of the kingdom. Peace upon men peace to men and goodwill that was what the angel proclaimed at the birth of Christ in Luke chapter I think chapter 2 peace 
peace. The word of peace, if it abides in your heart, if God's word abides in your heart, there will be peace in your heart because you will have the assurance of God's presence in your life. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, give me grace that your word will abide in my heart. Give me a hunger for your word. Satisfy that hunger, O God. Fill me with your word. Give me understanding of your word. And as you pray this prayer, it's not just to pray it and then sit down and do nothing. When you pray this prayer that God should fill you with his word, you have to study his word. You now have to study his word. It's like asking for food. The food is presented before you. You will die of hunger if you don't eat that food. But the food has been presented. So when you pray that God's word will abide in you, his word of peace will abide in you, it is now for you to go and study the Bible. So begin to pray. Say, Lord, may your gospel of peace fill my heart. May your gospel of peace fill my heart. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray. I ask, O oh God, that the gospel of peace will fill my heart. Fill my heart with the gospel of peace. Fill my heart, Lord, with the gospel of peace. Father, may your word abide in my heart. May your word dwell richly in wisdom, in all wisdom in my heart, O oh God. I pray in the name of of Jesus. Lord, may your word abide richly in my heart in all wisdom and understanding. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill my heart with your word. Help me to be focused on you. Help me to be focused on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I want you to pray. Ask the Lord to connect you with bearers of the gospel of peace. There are people who bring bad news. There are people who are bad news. I want you right now to ask God to connect you with people who carry the gospel of peace. And it's not peace that you relax. It is peace between you and God. That is the gospel of peace. It's not sweet words that you hear some preachers just preach to make you excited. No. The gospel of peace is not to make you feel good about yourself. The gospel of peace is to show you what Christ has done on the cross and to transform you to being like Jesus Christ. So pray now, Lord, connect me with bearers of the gospel of peace, with carriers of the gospel of peace. Disconnect me from people who carry a contrary gospel. Disconnect me from people who carry another gospel. Disconnect me, Lord God, from people who carry evil tidings. Father, connect me with people who carry the gospel of peace. I pray in the name of Jesus. Connect me, Lord. Connect me with carriers of the gospel of peace that I may increase in your word. I pray in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us. In Jesus' mighty name. We are going to take another prayer point. We are going to ask God to bruise Satan under your feet. Romans chapter 16, verse 20. The book of Romans chapter 16, verse 20. It says... And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The God of peace will bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Satan is carrying trouble. The God of peace. The God of peace will bruise Satan under your feet. 
You know one way you know he has bruised Satan under your feet? Because you are in perfect peace. Despite Satan is tearing up a storm. You know that he has bruised the devil under your feet. Because the devil is trying to scare you, yet you are in perfect peace. You are not subject to the devil's threatenings. You are not subject to the devil's aggression. He has bruised Satan under your feet. That you have perfect peace. He is the God of peace. When he comes, you will have peace. Your enemies will have trouble. Pray right now. Lord, bruise Satan under my feet. O God of peace, bruise Satan under my feet. Pray right now. Father, God Almighty, God of peace, I pray that you bruise Satan under my feet. Bruise Satan under my feet, O God. Bruise Satan under our feet, O God of peace. We pray in the name of Jesus that we shall be in perfect peace despite the storm in the world, despite the storm around us, our homes will have perfect peace because of the presence of the Prince of Peace, the presence of the Holy One of God in our lives, in our hearts, in our homes, in that which in our environment. Lord, let your perfect peace abide in us. Let your perfect peace abide in us, O God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Let your perfect peace abide in us. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want you to read... Isaiah chapter 26. I want you to see the scripture that I have been quoting. Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah 26. Verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So the peace we have prayed for, you will receive it by keeping your mind on Christ Jesus. By keeping your focus on Christ Jesus. By living your life according to the will of God. By seeking God's kingdom first. Honoring God with your finances, with your time, with your gifts, with your strength, with everything about you. When you you, you have money, you are thinking of how to spread the kingdom of God, how to help people, how to partner with ministries. When you discover talents you have, you are thinking of how to use them for the kingdom. When you are in a position of authority, you are thinking of how to establish the kingdom in your environment, in your sphere of authority. Wherever you are, you are kingdom-minded. Then you will enjoy that perfect peace. I want you to thank God for answering your prayer. Just giving thanks for this prayer time. Thank Him for answering your prayer. And if you are listening to me, you are not born again. Pray with me right now. The rest of you just be giving God thanks for what he's done in this service. Now you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Repeat after me or use your own words. It's a prayer of repentance. Let's go. Lord God Almighty, I repent of my sins. I confess I am a sinner. I ask for your forgiveness. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. I confess and accept Jesus Christ, your Son, as my Lord and Savior. Fill me and baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Preserve me, 
holy and righteous till the day I meet you. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I also thank you for praying with me. God bless you. You've prayed that prayer. You are born again. I encourage you to be baptized with water, being dipped into water and brought out, symbolizing your death with Christ and resurrection with him. And if you want to reach me, you want to reach me, you want to talk to me, all of you listening to me, those of you who want to reach this ministry and talk, communicate with us, you can reach out to us by Telegram and by WhatsApp. The number is plus two three four seven zero three 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 four three six eight. You can also email me David Eichbonner Ministries at gmail dot com. Eichbonner is spelled A I G B O N a. So David Agbana Ministries at gmail.com. And you can also subscribe to this channel. If you're watching on social media, you've not subscribed to this channel. Subscribe, click on subscribe button, click on notification. There's a bell icon. Click on it and read whether it says notification turned on or off. So you know what to do. And then you can find my channel. My channel name is David Agbana. Or in some platforms, it is David Agbana Ministries. The platforms we currently are on are as follows. TikTok, Gab.com, BitChute, Brighton, Locals.com, um, Odyssey.com. In fact, through Odyssey, you can give an offering uh, to, to God through this ministry. You can use my channel on Odyssey. You click on the support button. It takes you and you know what to do. It takes you to where you can do what you want to do. We are on um, iConnect FX. We have our podcasts on SoundCloud. You'll find audio messages on SoundCloud. We are also on um, Rumble.com. Rumble we are spreading to various social media platforms. So always look out for us. And the only way you are to give is not through GoFundMe, not through PayPal. It will be either you go to odc.com, to my channel there, David Agbona, and give through it, or you reach out to me, and I will send you the account details for which you are to give to, and to always have the name of this ministry so that you don't get defrauded. And you can find our videos where we have our outreaches and revival meetings. They are on these social media platforms. Just go through them and you are going to see what we are doing. It's a time to make yourself relevant in the kingdom of God so that God will hold you of, with, and, and see you as a profitable servant, not an unprofitable servant. Whatever gift you have, if you, can, if you are multilingual, reach out to me. I'm looking for interpreters. And whatever talent you want to offer God in service to him, in partnership with this ministry, your talents are important. We have various things we are doing. You could have a role. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.